Hello? Are we there? Is every, can everybody hear me? I got a, um, an interruption. Please, if you can hear me, just put it in the chat. I can hear you. Or respond. Can you hear me? Okay, I see a raised hand from Emmanuel. Thank you. You can hear me. Thank you, Dennis. All right, thank you. So I see that the interruption got sorted out. Okay, so for those who don't know, um, Zindua Career is an organization that provides career education to young people who are transitioning into adulthood. So we focus on equipping the young people from the age of nine up to the age of 35 with employability skills and connection to employers so that they are able to transition successfully into the labor force. Uh, currently, the statistics show that very few young people who are transitioning into the labor force as adults fail because of very many issues, including the lack of the appropriate connection to good employers, lack of experience, which employers are looking for, lack of knowledge on how to self the, sell themselves and introduce themselves to the world of work, and sometimes just that character of resilience to stay focused on the journey of success in the labor force. So as somebody who has worked in the human resource practice for many years, I have developed a deep passion and compassion for young people to help them be equipped with the right skills and knowledge so that they join the labor force prepared to succeed. So that means equipping them with the right education, information, advice, and guidance that will open their eyes and even give them the hope and the courage that they can do well, even as they come into this very competitive world of work where they find people who've been there for a long period of time. And sometimes they come across very many challenges, including um, like now the COVID-19 crisis, which has thrown uh, the labor market dynamics into all sorts of directions. So my passion right now is to establish an organization that will help us extend this helping hand to young people so that young people are not idle and they're not wasting their time and resources, but they're engaged in the labor force and growing their skills and learning quickly on how to be successful as they transition into adulthood. So the transitioning into adulthood means moving from education, basic education, into the next step, which would mean either you get yourself educated or you get a job or you start a, a business or develop some type of skill just so that you are able to cater for your life, your future life. That is what transitioning is. So the young people who experience this transition are those in primary school, as they grow older, they have to make decisions. They have to acquire some certain skills, some certain levels of marks and grades. The ones in high school, the same thing. And the ones who now leave high school and they have now to maneuver through the library of life. So we have structured programs, three programs that will help young people and we are working on it. I'm very pleased to be joined by powerful people in this journey. And two of three of them actually are in this room. And I would like to give them a chance to say hello and greet everybody uh, before we can listen to our main speaker. Our main speaker today is Dr. Elijah Walubuka, who is also part of the Zindua Career Team as the board director, uh, board chairman. And he will tell you more about himself, but I know Dr. Elijah Walubuka from very many years ago. We were in campus together. And that is why I believe that even this course that we are giving you today is going to be useful because some of the advice we'll give you is related to the importance of retaining good network and relations. So he's going to be speaking to us. And the main topic for you for today is think about uh, your future and think about your future for you who is a fresh grad, uh, fresher in college and university. Think about how you can succeed in your university life 
how you can live uh, successfully uh, as a college or campus student. How can you be safe? How do you keep up with your grades? Uh, make the right choices. So he's going to give you a lot of insights and to share with you. That's why I'm encouraging you. Please invite as many as you know, fresh graduates, uh, fresh, not fresh graduate, fresh uh, university students to come to this session. Okay, so as we are waiting for many more people to come in, I can see we are growing in numbers. I will request that our board chairman to say hello, even if he's going to be the speaker, just say hello to us. Uh, and then we can move on to the next uh, Zindua career team member who's in here. Welcome, Dr. Elijah. Thank you, Madam CEO. A very good uh, afternoon to you all. I'm not sure it's afternoon or evening. What time does evening start? Let's make it afternoon. Good afternoon, all of you. Pleased to have you all here and looking forward to a wonderful Hello. time with the, all of you. Dr. Elijah. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I'm not sure if I'm the only one who cannot hear Dr. Elijah. We can hear you. We can hear you, Dr. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Yes, no, I can hear All right, I was uh, simply saying um, thank you, Edna, for inviting me here. And uh, I look forward to wonderful interactions with um, uh, our very good students uh, this afternoon. Thank you. Back to you, Edna. All right, thank you. And I apologize for that interruption. And next, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mrs. Bahati Gatere. She's a board member in Zindua Career. Please just say hello to us. Uh, hi everybody, this is Bahati, very happy to be here and uh, I know that there's a lot of good tips you're going to get. It's uh, it's amazing that we are here as we do a career and excited that this is the first of three amazing programs this week. Thank you Edna for doing this for the young people, they are great and they're going to receive more great advice today for their future. God bless you, I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Bahati. And finally, I want to ask Joshua to say hello. Hello. Um, so my name is Joshua. Um, it's wonderful to be here. And I hope that everyone inside this meeting will take something from here. Yes. OK, so those are the powerful uh, people within Zindua Korea who have joined us today. We have one more who would have loved to make it, but he can't. Uh, he will also be speaking on Friday. So without uh, wasting more time, I would like to start off this event by inviting Dr. Elijah and to speak to us on the topic that he had prepared for us. The topic is, like I mentioned earlier, think about your future for you who is starting off your life in college. So, Karibu Sana, Doctor. And please, can you turn on your video so we can see you? Uh, once again, thank you, Madam CEO. It's my pleasure indeed to be here talking to the young people, uh, something I like. Um, uh, let me introduce myself again. My name is uh, Elijah Waluboka. Um, who is Elijah? Um, Elijah is, um, is a registrar in charge of administration and planning at Meru University of Science and Technology. And um, I'm so happy to be here and to just help you settle in your various institutions. Could be a college, could be uh, a university, wherever you are, uh, this presentation is relevant to all of you. Right. Um, uh, the presentation objectives are, uh, as you can see, uh, by the end of this uh, presentation, you will have uh, insights on how to enjoy college or campus life. You'll, you, you'll get to know the do's and don'ts uh, that will help you live with the focus and uh, safe, safely while in campus. And lastly, 
how to connect with career advisors and mentors. Very, very important uh, for you. Uh, so what do I say? I want to say welcome to college life. Welcome to the land of the free. And I say the land of the free deliberately because I mean now nobody's going to be following you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are on your own. It is the land of the free. You do as you please. But welcome again to the world of responsibility because much as you're in the land of the free, you we must appreciate that uh, we want you to also be responsible. So welcome to the world of responsibility. Yet again, welcome to the world of irresponsibility. If you choose the otherwise direction, you are that irresponsible person. So welcome to the world of irresponsibility. But then what do I say? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Whether you take the world of responsibility, whether you take the world of irresponsibility, the choice is actually yours. Next is a picture of myself and a friend of mine called Robert Omedi. This picture was taken uh, uh, slightly over 20 years ago. So then you can work out my age. Slightly over 20 years ago, and I was, uh, uh, we, were, we were in campus. We were actually joining campus. And, and so he happened to be one of my very first contacts. And so he became my friend. We were roommates. Today, Robert Omedi is a professor in one of the leading universities in, uh, in the US and doing well and we still keep touch. So that was my first contact in campus. And this picture means so much to me. This picture means so, so, so much to me. And you know what? I have been uh, going through, uh, I've, this last two, three weeks, I have uh, been receiving fresh airs for new students in, in our university, approximately 4,000 of them. I have seen them take all manner of pictures. Interesting. Uh, sometimes I sit in a corner and watch them take those pictures. And I, I remember this picture. Uh, that, that picture you took on your first day. Old. You'll talk about it perhaps 20 years from now. So that is my, my beginning at the campus. And uh, like I told you, I got a good contact. Professor Robert Omedi. And he teaches English, literature, and journalism. And he's... He's super, he's an excellent professor uh, in the US. To teach English in the US, to teach literature, literature in the US, you must be very, very good uh, with your English. So what are the tips? I want to share with you a few tips about uh, uh, your campus life. And uh, tip number one, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you start your life in campus, I want to say this, please go to class. Now, going to class means learning things that are not in your textbook. That is very, very important. When you go to class, you get to learn things that are not in your textbook. If you say you took on a car, you wait for that last minute to, to read notes, you are not, it's not meaningful learning. So please attend class so that you get to, 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 to read those things that you never find in the notes and those things that you never find in the uh, uh, in, in the in the textbooks remember it is the land of the free you can again choose to go class to you can choose to go to class or you can choose not to go to class but the choice is yours but i believe your choice is the responsible choice so number one please go to class two set up social uh, network to combat loneliness and uh, homesickness in your first year or college. The friends you make here are likely to be the friends you have for life. I have shared with you the my, my images as a first year with Professor Robert Omedi. So the, those very first contacts you get now are very, very important. And they're likely to be, to be, to be, to be, you're likely to be friends with them uh, forever, something that is quite nice. So Robert is just one of them. I have many other friends and good friends that I, that I keep in touch with. Three, get to know your lecturers. Young people, please get to know your lecturers. Why? Because you know your lecturers are, 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 are like gatekeepers for you. 
And you know what, lecturers, your lecturers have have what we call research money. They're into research, they do lots of research and so they have research money. They're out here looking for research assistance. By getting to know your lecturers and getting to know them very closely, you know, they get to also trust in you and give you some work and you have an opportunity to make money. You have an opportunity to make money. So get to know your lecturers. Get to know them and know them, uh, engage them as much as possible. Number four, make a habit of um, being ahead. I remember you are on your own and uh, do not wait for, 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 for that class to, to learn new things. Uh, you know, at the beginning of every semester, we, we issue you with, um, with, um, with, um, with, uh, with what you call course content, the course content. So now that you have the course content, you know exactly what you're going to be learning week after the other, then you, you had better be ahead, at least one class ahead, so that when you go to class, you're able to understand better, you're able to deliver quality term papers, you're able to attract, to attract better grades. During our time, we didn't have internet, so our term papers, I tell you, were quality. We did excellent term papers during our time. But today, today we have a problem. As a matter of fact, we have introduced the anti-plagiarism software to, to be checking your term paper so that we, we are able to tell whether they are original or not. But during our time, there was, there was no need for the anti-plagiarism software because we sat in the libraries several days writing those term papers and they, are, they were quality term papers. I was privileged to meet a professor of mathematics, an old man at the University of Nairobi recently. And uh, he showed me his thesis that he wrote in the year 19, handwritten thesis, thousands of pages, very neat handwriting. And you know it's mathematics. You can imagine just how much work he put in just how much work he put in. So learn to be ahead. Make that habit of being ahead. And that, that way you make a good student. You understand better. You deliver quality term papers and you attract uh, better grades. Number five, avoid destructive relationships. Avoid destructive uh, relationships. Why do I say this? You know, college students in um, very serious uh, long-term relationships, rightly so, devote a lot of time to their significant others, but uh, that time and mental energy has to come from somewhere. Now, when you are spending time with your bias, I hear you call them so, you are less likely to be spending that time engaging, uh, engaging or forging uh, new friendships. And you're not likely to be finding time to try out new things or generally focusing on your needs. So those relationships, I'm not condemning, I am not a professor of relationships and I'm not actually condemning them, but you need to find a balance. And only you know what is right for you. But uh, if you are in a relationship or considering one, remember to prioritize time for yourself. I mean, love yourself. Prioritize time for your interests. And most importantly, prioritize time for your studies. Like I said, I'm not condemning those relationships, but learn to prioritize. And just avoid anything that is disruptive. Uh, disruptive uh, um, relationships will cause you a lot of pain uh, uh, now and in the future. Number six, Use resources available to you. Remember, these resources, you have partly paid for them. Everything you see on campus is paid for. It is either paid for in part by your tuition fees or paid for in full by the same fees. So in that way, not taking advantage of campus resources is like leaving money on the table. You have all these resources at your disposal, but if you're not making good use of them, then I'm likening that to like leaving money 
on the table. You have already paid for it. Why not use those resources? Welcome to the campus life. The resources are many. Please make good use of those resources. Go to the fields, appreciate the fields. Have a sport. Use those resources. Use the library. Use the library. Today we have e-libraries and the e-libraries have a, a lot more materials, I tell you. So make use of those resources. Number six, number seven, uh, please seek an advisor. Why? Because these advisors know the campus resources best. They will help you know the right methods of learning and other professional resources to help you succeed in your studies. You know what? In every university or college, we have, a, we have a program advisors. And the program advisors are known. In fact, if you check on the notice boards, you will see the list of program advisors. Find out where, where you lie. Where is your program? What is your program? And get to call those program advisors and talk to them. They will guide you so that then you also build a good foundation at this point. So that then you build a good foundation at this uh, point as you start. Number eight, be candid with uh, your roommates. Now, ladies and gentlemen, roommates can mess you. If you're not careful with your roommates, you, you will be a mess. So be very, very candid with uh, your roommates. Um, we have gone through campus and we have had roommates and, and, and I do not wish to even express to you what I went through uh, one of my roommates. Uh, it might not be proper to do so, but yet again, I've had very, very good roommates. But there was one particular one that uh, uh, I wish I, someone taught me this earlier, I will have avoided, I, I will have avoided. So what do you do with your roommates? Please budget it together if possible. If possible, see to menu and to genu na patoto meka wana rarua me kunywa yote beisha. You, I mean, it's very very frustrating. Or you are cooking together. You come in the evening na patoto meka wana bash. I mean, that that perhaps was your last coin for shopping that particular semester. So budget together if possible. Now you have to see this person every single. Day. That is why you must have proper relationships with that roommate. You also want your room to be a refuge and a place to relax and unwind. Why? Out there things happen. But at least you need to look forward to getting back to your room so that you have some peace. At least you have a good roommate. But you can't do that if there is tension between you and your roommate or roommates. Choose your roommates wisely. Set your expectations up front. Talk to them. Talk to that roommate and set your expectations. We said you are going to be candid with your roommate. Establish a way of communicating to each other when you need privacy, when you need some quiet, when you need support, and when you need space. This must be understood between you and your roommate. You're going to be spending so much time with this particular roommate. So be candid with your roommate. Do not be depressed because of a roommate. Why? Why should that be happening to you? So start well and choose them wisely. Number nine, number nine exercise. I talked about sporting activities. Please get, get engaged, uh, find a sport. Uh, we teach management and you know exercise is one of the ways through which you relieve your stress. You relieve the excess energy. By the end of the day, all you want to do is sleep. And then you direct your energies in the positive direction through exercise. So getting your blood pumping keeps your brain sharp for studying and learning. And staying at peak health means you are less likely to get sick or injured and miss out on classes. So exercise, exercise please, and find a spot. Register with the sports office. Every university, every college has a sports office. The student welfare office. Register yourself and find a sport. Today we have all manner of sports. We have all manner of sports. Number 10, a please call home. I mean, that is your family. Everyone is in a while, please call home. 
Let them know how you are doing. You have been with them throughout your life. But for the first time, maybe, you are out there on your own, transitioning on your own. So just get to speak to them. These are the people that know you best. Your family knows you best. There's no other person in that university or college that knows you as much as uh, your parents, brothers, and sisters. So every once in a while, you need to be calling them. You are lucky you have... Uh, you have, uh, you have the cell phones. During our times, we used to queue at a certain booth at the student center as early as 5 a.m. And you'll find some people queuing there, uh, making all manner of calls to catch up. But today for you, life is made easier. Ease of doing business through the cell phones. So please call home, talk to your people, let them know you are doing well, let them know about your challenges. And like I said, um, that is your family and they know you best. Number 11 tip is, um, number 11 tip is uh, get career advice. Please get career advice. You know, today in every university, I am not very sure about your college, but in every university today, uh, we have a career and guidance office. If you can mute yourself, kindly, if you can mute yourself kindly. Uh, every university has a, a, a directorate of quality assurance today. Actually, according to the Commission for University Education, this it's called the CAI, if I'm not wrong, DACA, Directorate of Quality Assurance. So please seek counseling services from these offices. Talk to the directorate of quality assurance and career services. Again, please do not take too long to decide exactly uh, what you want to, to do at the university. I know students have been given an opportunity to change their courses and uh, it happens in the first month. And I've seen many of you do that. Please make decisions fast so that you're not caught up with time and you're told perhaps it's, it's not possible or the, your desired course is now full and, and or better still, you are given a chance but catching up will take forever. So make that decision very fast. Talk to the Directorate Quality Assurance. They will help you. They, they will actually um, help you. Remember, if you fall behind, you might end up spending extra tuition. You don't want to fall behind uh, with your classes. Number 12, avoid walking around campus alone. Live a life, live in a safe environment please don't assume that fact uh, i mean universities are safe but not assume do not assume please have some company walking around your campuses especially in the nights please have some company do not be walking around uh, alone it is not advisable it is not good. And like I said, our universities, our colleges are safe, but do not assume. Be safe. Be safe, ladies and gentlemen. Number 13, stay positive. Please stay positive. Um, continue working hard like you've done. But then congratulations for making it to that college. Congratulations for making it to that university. But now please stay positive. University or college life is a huge change, I tell you. It is a huge change. And the classes are harder. You are on your own, I've said this time and again. Your surrounding is new. Your friends are different. And your family is so far away. Stay positive and focus. Be resilient. Be resilient throughout. Keep the faith. Have faith. Keep at it and be proactive. If you need help staying positive, seek out friends. Talk to counselors. We have counselors in our universities. At Mary University, we have counselors, and they will talk to you. We have school chaplains, university chaplains, college chaplains. You talk to them, and they will help you stay on course and be positive. Do whatever you have to do to stay in a positive mindset and keep putting in effort towards your degree, diploma, or certificate. It will pay off 
in the long run. I tell you what, if you're positive, it is going to reflect in your grades. Avoid certain grades I don't want to talk about now because, you know, those bad grades, they haunt you forever. You'll be going out looking for jobs and you look at this grade and it's haunting you. And perhaps the job that you are going, you are looking for is related to that particular poor grade. It's related to that particular poor grade. So make sure you, you stay positive and uh, um, get the good, the good grades. 14, be careful with Fuliza. Some of you here are uh, Fuliza giants. Budget for your money, plan for your money, and live within your limits. Live within um, your limits. And you know, today when we, are, when we go out looking for jobs, we also ask you to, to, to get a certificate from the Credit Reference Bureau. I mean, you do not, that is a CRB. You do not want to finish uh, your college and you're already black, blacklisted in the, in, in the CRB. That means you cannot get the job and you are qualified. You have just done your two, three, four, five, six years. But because of your Feliza character, I mean, you are blacklisted uh, on the CRB. So plan for your money well. Avoid those unnecessary debts. Avoid those unnecessary debts. I mean, you can live uh, without them. But if you're talking to your family again, then, then, then they will sort you, they will help you. If you're keeping good friends and good company, they will help you and you will stay away from these unnecessary debts. 15, please use what we call, uh, use the weekend and outing buddy system. Ever heard of that? The weekend and outing buddy system. Young people, remember, this is the land of the free. And I know we on, during weekends you'll be going out to have fun, it's okay. Have fun within the limits, that's okay. You are young people, you have those energies. But, 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 but this point is about the buddy system. Use the weekend and outing buddy system. Who are your buddies? Keep them posted about where you are. You know, we have lost students, and this is very sad. We have lost a system of uh, these weekend uh, uh, things and uh, and it is painful, it is sad, and nobody knows where they are. Some never to be traced. The body system really works. The body system really works. You get to your joint, please alert your friend. I'm here, I'm, on, I'm at this joint, I'll be here one hour, and then I'm back to my room. If, if it goes beyond one hour, write to your friend. I, I am delayed a bit, but I should be there in the next 30 or so minutes. Do not stay out late. It is not good for you. But use the body system because they will help us trace you. They will help us find you. The body system really works in campus and in college. Now, this is very, very important. Your tip number 16, register for um, non-credit units register for non-credit units. For example, typing, for example, driving, for example, ICDL, and all manner of professional courses. Let me go back to typing. Now, when I was in campus, I took a very, very interesting uh, uh, unit called typing, uh, typing, and uh, I didn't take communication, but I found it interesting to do typing. Now, my story about typing is beautiful because um after i after the semester i was so fast on the computer i mean i will type and today I still type very fast i type very very fast arising from the training that i received at the university now i used to do term papers in the evening late in the night very early in the morning and i made a lot of money from typing term papers for students i made a lot of money now, this typing skill is one of the reasons I got my first job. I mean, we are getting into the NGO world, so you know my first job was in the NGO world, and I'm not going to be given a secretary. I am going to do it myself. I, so then they're looking at my papers and they're saying I can do 120 words per minute, and they're saying, are you sure? I'm saying, yes, I can do that. In fact, I was tested. 
and I did comfortable 115, 120. Error free. So these skills are very, very good. Yes, you have your degree, but what are the add-ons? The add-on could be the typing skill. And so then at the end of the day, you get that particular job. Driving at Mary University of Science and Technology, recently we deliberately introduced driving as a course. And we have said that uh, all engineering students must take the driving course. And you realize how important it is to you. How Can you imagine you are an engineer, graduated as an engineer, and you cannot drive? Is it even making sense? But yes, we have opened up the course for every other student. Others are, can take it. It's a non-credit unit. You will you'll not be graded, but you have the skill. Non-credit means you will not be graded, but you have the skill. So driving is, is interesting. It is cool, by the way. And now today, let me talk about ICDL very briefly, uh, because I don't have to say so much, I, I am not um, the authority in that area. But ICDL is a professional ICT-related course again. It is the coolest thing in ICT today. So talk to your parents and don't stress them. Just talk to them. If they're able to afford some of these things, please register and take those units. ICDL is cool. It's nice. On the job market, you go with ICDL. I mean, that is what we want. And there are many, many professional courses that you can also register for. For example, CPA. CPA for accountants. Some of you will be taking procurement. Identify your professional uh, uh, courses. Identify them. Some of you are engineers and you may want to be taking certain uh, trainings in the line of engineering so that you are certified uh, 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 accordingly. If in the human resource world, today we talk of CHRP. I talked to the principal college of human, I, I sent the principal college of human resource management uh, um, text message, message today. I'm not sure if we have anyone here from the College of Human Resource Management. But yeah, that is a professional institution. So that at the end of the day, you, if you are Kennedy or UMA, then you have a new title, CHRP Kennedy or UMA. It is cool, I mean. I mean, you have just graduated from the university, but you are CHRP Kennedy or UMA. I mean, you are marketable. You're marketable. You didn't go to the university to do CHRP, but these are add-ons. They make you marketable in, uh, in, in, in our society. So think about it, think about it, and, uh, and think about your professional areas and develop yourself. You can imagine CPA, K, Kennedy, Omondi, and you have just graduated. I mean, you're on another level compared to any other person that never thought about the professional courses. Now, so most, most of those courses are supported by an act of parliament. CHRP, there is an act of parliament. Um, CPA, there is an act of parliament. So they're all legal from whatever angle you look at them. Number 17, if we are together, number 17, make good use of the internet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the internet doesn't forget. Did you know that? The internet doesn't forget. Be careful what you post in the internet. Be careful what you post in the internet. Whatever you post in the internet is a permanent record. Careful what you write in the internet. You try carelessness in the internet, this will haunt you forever. Let me tell you what. Uh, one time we were in this interview and we are interviewing someone uh, who had come from abroad and, uh, and, uh, and, and you know, uh, in the interview we have responsibilities. One, one, one of um, uh, the panelists, and that was me, was asked to, to, to do some background checks. So then I take the name of this person, call him Mr. X, and I type, I type his name, and I realize this person is wanted from whatever country he came from. Why? On the internet, he posted something and uh, the police were looking for him and no one knows how he, he left that country. No one has an idea. But you know, if, 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 if the Americans knew he was at my university looking for the job, they'll come for him. Why? 
he was careless with the internet. He posted something silly on the internet. So again, be official in the internet. Young people, be official in the internet. I mean, some of your emails are not official. You know, these small things make money. And you have a young person here with an email address called, uh, that goes like this, nyotandogo at yahoo.com. Now, what is that? Be careful how you use the internet. Be as official as much as possible. Be official as much as possible. You had better use your names. Uh, Jojo Mondi at yahoo.com. That is official. That is official. You can imagine later on when you'll be looking for jobs and you come to, 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 to uh, a serious organization that uh, is looking for someone to employ and your email is nyotandogo at yahoo.com. I mean, the word nyotandogo alone is a put off. Is I want to know, is this person for real? Is this person serious? Now, instead of concentrating on the good person you are, I'm concentrating on something small that misuse of the internet. Please do not misuse the internet. Don't bully anyone on the internet. You know, it, go, it is a permanent record. Do not, don't do those things. Be as official as much as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to the end. And uh, so 19 is have fun. I mean, you're in college. It is the land of the free. I'm not going to be sending you to you Limewapi. I'm not going to be sending you to the market. I'm not going to be asking you to go to see Uncle Who and Auntie Who. You have fun. You have the books at your disposal and good relationships at your disposal. Choose wisely. College is awesome, young people. Remember, you only go to college once. Can I go back to the university to take an undergraduate degree today? No, I'll be crazy. I'll be crazy. So enjoy your, your time and get everything. Get everything you can get out of it. You realize I moved from 17 and then came to 19. Uh, if we were in a face-to-face -face class, I would have asked you to give me two others that you think are important. That is 18 and 19. So that becomes your take-home assignment, 18 and 19. But let's finish number 20. Any questions? <laughs> Sounds like number 20 is, do you have any questions? If you have any questions, I believe you have posted them in the chat and we will be able to respond to them accordingly. I want to thank you most sincerely for, uh, for, for listening to me. Those few but uh, simple but almost obvious points are the same points that will help you go through your two, three, four, five, six years in college or university. So I want, to wish, I want to wish you well, young people. Welcome to Mary University of Science and Technology if you're interested. Remember, we are training Kenyans. If it's not Mary University, you pick whatever college you want to go to. Please enjoy your journey. Have fun and do all your best. And uh, we look forward to seeing a better person to, uh, tomorrow. We look forward to seeing a better person tomorrow. So that's all I have for you, young. I want to hand over this back to Madam CEO, Edna. If you're there, carry on. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you, guys. I mean, thank you, Dr. Elijah Alubuka, and thanks, everybody, for being so attentive and quiet and following. Uh, I would like us to give, us a, give him a cloud of a you know, a, a, a clap. And since we are online and virtual, what we are going to do is we are going to unmute and we are going to, uh, you know, do this with our fingers, click with our fingers, wherever you are. I just want to hear click with the fingers. Please. Show your appreciation to Dr. Elijah for being such a gentle guide and advisor this afternoon. One more time, please. Thank you guys. Just unmute, unmute and click with your fingers. Yeah, I can see and people have unmuted and I hear the click. Thank you, people. And Sante Nisana. Right, so we've come to the end of the presentation, but not the end of the event. This next session, I would just like to summarize very quickly uh, all the nice points that we have received from 
this very wise man, Dr. Elijah Walubuka, who's given us his gentle guidance. And basically, at the end of the day, he said, you know, if you don't remember anything, remember you've been asked to go to class, build the right social network, know your lecturers, be ahead, you know, have a habit of being ahead, avoid disruptive relationships, babe, you know, eh, babe, Iso, don't be disrupted, stay focused. Uh, use the right resources. All that you have at the university is at your disposal for increasing your knowledge, so use it. Seek advisors. Be candid with your roommates. If it's time to sleep, it's sleep time. If it's time to have visitors, yes. Call home. Visit your parents. Um, get career advice. Be safe. Let's avoid putting ourselves in unsafe environments. Stay positive. Team Fuliza, are you here? Team Fuliza, mpo? And Dika 111, come away with Team Fuliza in the chat box. If you are here, you've been told be careful with that Fuliza. Get to know more about financials and use your money well. The weekend buddy, you know, don't ghost your friends at you because you got a nice, you know, hookup for the weekend or a, a great party have a buddy who knows where you are and they can vouch for where you are and it's real and um, the non-credit courses go for them i also have a very big story of typing and imagine i also learned my typing on a typewriter some of you don't know what that is maybe one day when we meet i'll tell you but i believe what dr elijah said about the non-credit courses is very important be smart on the internet, you know, be official with your names, with your emails, and enjoy yourself, enjoy your youth. I mean, you, it will not come back. Age 20 will not come back. Age 21 will not come back. Um, all you will leave to do is remember the good decisions you made while, and had fun while you are at it. So that's the summary we've received. And I just want to ask uh, the audience, which of these 19 were of use to you just think about it um if you want to write it in the chat you can which of the 19 has inspired you the most that's the question i have please just write it in the chat which of the 19 now i want to move very quickly to the questions that are in the chat box we have a few so we read them out and then I'll, I'll ask Dr. Dr. Lubuka to respond shortly so that we can cover all of them. I can see we are pressed for time. I know we were supposed to end at 4 p.m. I'll just request that you allow us to finish this event at 4.10. For those of you who have other duties to do after four, please allow us to just use 10 minutes of that so we can finish this event gracefully. Do we agree? Okay, I have one node. Someone has nodded. I take that he has responded on behalf of everybody. Thank you, Dennis. So the first question is actually from Dennis Mongera, uh, Dr. Elijah, and I will read it out for you. How can one manage classwork attendance and at the same time getting involved in non-credit units, yet some courses are much complicated and need more attention? as well as time. Should I read that again? How can one manage classwork attendance and at the same time get involved in non-credit units, yet some courses are much more complicated and need more attention as well as time? Doctor? Uh, do I take it now? Yes, please. Or should I read all of them? No, let me let me go. Let me let me check that. Okay. So, Dennis, thank you for. But I think that's a very well thought question, Dennis. I appreciate um, uh, that you are asking that question. I have a simple answer for you. Um, balance, balance. Um, Work-life balance is important. Uh, that's a bit different. That's the working society. But 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 as a student, you also need to to balance as much as possible. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, 
I do not anticipate, I do not, I do not see you sitting in a class any one day of the week, that is Monday, Friday, uh, from morning eight to five. No, it's not possible. As a matter of fact, there are days you are, you are not likely, you are likely to, to, to be free. I mean, there are no classes that particular day. So the thing is, you balance. And the beauty is, uh, the beauty is, uh, if, if you take it within that particular institution, then the timetable takes care of it. The timetable takes care of it. There's no way you're going to be scheduled to be taking, driving at the same time you have engineering 111, no. So balance is important. Remember that extra. You know, when, when, when you go out looking for jobs, we look for extras. We know you have the degree, uh, but we'll be looking for the extras. And one of those extras will be your ICDL. I, I repeat ICDL because it's, it's a very cool thing in the ICT world. So yeah, so Dennis, do not fear uh, balance. You know, we are in the, in the job market out here. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was telling Madam CEO yesterday that you know, over the weekends I hustle. I hustle, I have my side hustles. There are times in the evening I'm hustling, but I know I've been busy the whole day. And, uh, and, but there is a balance. There is a way you also know your body and, uh, and it is very, very possible. Uh, to answer you again, uh, please balance. Please balance. Um, it is possible. It is possible. Thank you, Dennis, for asking that very, very good question. Yeah, thank you. Secondly, we have a question from Cynthia Naliaka, and she asks, do, do we have to pay for the non-credit units? Yes, yes, for sure. You need to pay for the non-credit units. You will need to pay for them. Let me tell you this. You know, some of those units or some of those courses are not even in your university or college. You might not be having CPS in that university. I don't know which college you are in. You might not be having CHRPs. You might not be having the KISIM related uh, 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 courses. KISIM is K-I-S-M. You might not be having them there. So you have to go out there, find a commercial college in town, uh, one that is reputable and uh, you take your units there. So you'll have to pay for them. I mean, to make a good person, an all-rounded person, you also, it will cost you. It will cost you. Thank you. Back to you, Edna. Thank you, Doctor. We have one question from Stanley Karioki who says, how do you manage side hustle and learning? Thank you, Edna. And I, as I answer this, I, uh, I will request my colleague board member Bahati to also prepare to say one or two things uh, about the same. I know she deals with students in the university and uh, she might have um, uh, an equally good answer on the same. So side hustling and learning. Uh, again, balance, please balance. And uh, side hustling is good, don't overdo it, don't overdo it. You young people today, you have the privilege of side hustling online, I mean, Sisi to Melala and you are making your money. Young people, you live in, in a beautiful and work environment. Some of you are in school and they are developing those apps. Beautiful, wonderful. University, I don't know how many of you are in Mary University in this forum today. Uh, you know that very well that uh, very soon Dr. Mwangi has given us an opportunity to identify 300 young people from the university that are going to be that are going to be charged with coming up with a solution. So you are supposed to come up with a solution, an on online app, perhaps most likely an online app that is a solution solving a problem. And you know what? He will pay you something. Some, some stipend at the end of the month. And if it works, oh my God, you have no idea how much money you're going to earn. If it works, if it's, if it's tried, tested, and appreciated, I tell you, you have no idea just how much money you are going to be uh, making. Because someone else will buy it. 
a, re, a very rich person somewhere will buy it and uh, that will change your life. That will change uh, your life. No, ha side hustling is not betting. Uh, you know, there are two young men. Uh, let me give you a story of some two young men at, at Mary University of Science and Technology. So these two young Each one of them, I think, got approximately 700,000. By Monday, these guys had 700,000 each because they were, it was the same bet. So you, you can imagine they would get the same money. And you know what? They disappeared. You know, you know they, 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 they told themselves, you know, why are we here? It's so that we can make money. Don't we have money now? Yes. You know, I can, I'm imagining the type of questions they were asking themselves and answering themselves. Don't we have the money? Yes, we do. Disappear. You know, they left the university up to now. No one knows where those two boys went to. Imagine 700,000 only. So they lost their degree, and God knows where they are today. So betting is not side hustling. Please don't <laughs> avoid betting. Avoid betting. But the side hustles are there. Go online and um, go for work study. All my life in the university, I was on work study. And at Mary University, we have uh, work study opportunities. I am sure... All these other universities have the work study opportunities. So seize those opportunities and make an extra point for yourself. Uh, Bahati, you have something to say? Okay. All right, so I think uh, maybe Bahati is not here yet, but I trust your response was quite uh, comprehensive. Yes, I yes, Edna, I'm here. Oh, you're there. Okay. Yeah, I'm here and I could hear, but I think I lost him for a, a second. Uh, my internet is fluctuating a bit, but yes, that was an amazing talk. I think he's right on point on what goes on in campus life. And yes, there are so many opportunities and so many responsibilities so yeah that was amazing actually he pinpointed every aspect of it um maybe just to add on the spiritual spiritual journey um in all this freedom i would just encourage that this is a, a crucial time as you're making decisions to make the correct decisions even spiritually and align yourself with uh God and uh, what his principles are because of those same issues of temptation and responsibility. So yeah, and work, 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 and also have fun. I think he's emphasized on that. That was really cool and really important, even for freshers to know and to go into this world with uh, much excitement, but also much expectation because now they're adults. You have your ID, you know, you're accountable for your time, you're accountable for what is your, the knowledge you're gaining, and you're accountable for your time, make use of it, and so that you don't have regrets. You know, like uh, uh, our chairman said, uh, he has no regrets. When he looks back, there's some good decisions he made which have helped him to be who he is. Even he has a photo, Yanni, from those days. You know, take that photo and also take the photo of your life and look back with thanksgiving more than regrets. Of course, as a young person, you will uh, do some good things and some not so good things, but make the good things more and uh, make the right decisions, get the right company, and keep up. You're now adults, yes, have fun, and God bless, and put God first, yes. Thank you, Bahati, that was very inspiring. We have also been joined by one more board member, Mr. Nicholas Cassidy, I see he's in the chat room. So I'm going to ask him to say hello, and at the same time respond to a question which I think he would be the best person to respond to that was asked by Dennis. I didn't see it much earlier. So Nick, you're welcome. And as you say hello, please respond to this question. At the end of the, Dennis said, at the end of the three or four years, uh, depending on diploma or bachelor course one is taking, how do you get into working, into the working industry, yet you are not known? by or you do not have any experience or work you have delivered i think mr nicholas you're the best person to respond to this so karibu sanas yeah 
Yeah, thanks, 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 Edna. Uh, and, and yes, great to meet you, uh, everyone who's joined this session. My name is Nicholas Cassidy. Uh, I'm a board member with Zintua Career. Um, yeah, I've been following, though I joined a bit late, so very insightful presentation there with uh, Dr. Walubuka. And uh, yes, so, I mean, that's a great question. And I, I used to ask myself the same question when I was just about to graduate. So, okay, so how do I get, how do we get these jobs, you know, just coming out of college or university and uh, very anxious about what the world of work is looking for. What is the expectation? How should I show up? What do employers look for? So usually my simple take is that just be yourself. Um, you know, make the right connections uh, right while you're still in college. And, and this you can do, you know, through, uh, you know, some of your lecturers, the office of the dean, uh, or even if you have a placement office that coordinates with the industry, especially on attachments and internships, that would be a good place to start from. The second thing is, uh, you know, um, uh, clean up your CV. You know, I uh, could be nothing much detail, but, you know, just have a one pager that, you know, shows everything you've been up to, is, you know, including your courses, the extracurricular, if you've had any internships during your college study, it'd be great to have it there, have your referees there, and, and be very clear on what you're looking for, uh, so that, you know, as you graduate, you're fully, fully well equipped uh, for what the market has to offer. And then, of course, you know, talk to people, talk to people out there, get a mentor, you know, it could be someone you admire in the profession, it could be someone who has been an alumni of the university, and just get insights from them. Ask them, how did you, how did you, um, you know, land your first opportunity out there when you graduated? Because those now will start giving you certain insights and they'll, they'll point you to the right direction of where to focus on. So I would say, you know, start the work while you're still in campus. Don't wait until you graduate because there is really no magic once you graduate. It's really how you work your way around and with the connections you have, and just really being ready to try out new things. So don't say, look, I've studied finance, I've studied comma, I mean, uh, business admin, and I cannot look at anything else that presents itself as an opportunity. So keep an open mind, be flexible, and, and listen for advice. From, you know, from your seniors and, and your mentors. That's all I can say. Thanks, Edna. Thank you so much, Nick. Very nice to have you here. Well, we've come to the end of our event, actually, guys. And I want to thank Dr. Elijah Walubuka, our speaker, Bahati, our board member, um, Nicholas and Joshua, our board members as well, for being here and uh, helping the young people navigate through questions that they have, even as they start the, their new journey at the university or college. Remember, guys, this is an event that has been brought to you by Zindua Career, an organization that provides work, uh, skills for work services to young people who are transitioning from education into the world of work. And you're here as a fresher, starting off in your life, you're transitioning into your adulthood and we want you to be effective and successful. And one of the ways is by you being successful in your college life. There are many things you have to uh, navigate, succeed at, overcome. And we thought that this event would help you answer some of those basic questions that maybe nobody has ever talked to you about. We hope that by listening to Dr. Elijah Olubuka and the other board members who have spoken to you, you have gained some confidence in your journey as you walk straight into college life, as you pursue gaining the knowledge that you need for the career you're dreaming about. So with that said, I would like to say that uh, I want to bring the event to a close. And I request, even as I end, uh, make the closing remarks, that you give us your feedback. What do you think about this event? I've put the uh, link requesting your feedback in the chat. I'll put it up again. 
even as I speak, please just log in and uh, give us your feedback. Tell us um, where we've gone right, whether we've met your expectations, have we satisfied your expectations? Are there any other topics you'd like us to speak to you about? Is there any other thing that we can do for you to just ease your life in college and help you navigate through your life in college or university successfully? and even help you achieve that, those uh, career goals that you have in mind. Uh, if you have questions about how do I get connected to employers, please feel free to connect with us. We can help you. If you have questions about how do I prepare my CV or even prepare for an interview, talk to us. We can help you with that. Just uh, put your comments in the uh, event feedback form, and we will be in touch with you because you give us your email. And if you have any additional comments, just put them there and we will get in touch with you and be of further assistance. This event is um, uh, on um, Think About Your Future and it is day one of three days. And our day two is tomorrow. We're going to be holding this same event, Think About Your Future, tomorrow, same time, right here in the Google uh, Meet room and we will be addressing from three and from four students. Again, we are also addressing from three and from four students because we want them to transition out of high school to where you are today successfully. So if you have in mind any from three or from four students, uh, just uh, connect them to us. You can tell them to visit our Facebook page. The event is on Facebook event and they can have the link to this uh, virtual event. It's really been a pleasure uh, hosting this event. Like I mentioned, those who maybe came a little later, my name is Edna Semiti. I am the founder of Zindua Career and currently the interim CEO of the organization. I am also joined by uh, important people in my organization. That is Dr. Elijah Walubuka, who was our speaker today, also our board chairman, and Mr. Nicholas Kasidi, our board member, and another board member, Mrs. Gate, uh, Bahati Gatere, who will be speaking tomorrow to the Form 3s and the Form 4s. And Mr. Joshua Masila, who will be speaking with Mr. Nicholas Kasidi on, on Friday to Class 7 and Class 8. Remember, our work is about helping young people to gain the skills that they need to be successful when they grow up and, and to be successful adults. So we've come to the end, really, guys. And <clears throat> I want to give one person maybe who is really burning, who wants to say something before we go off. Is there one person who just wants to say something before we go off? I know we are way beyond our time, and we really apologize for that. Is there one person who wants to say something before I end the event? Dennis Mongera has raised his arm and it goes to him. Welcome, Dennis. You can unmute yourself and turn on your video. And I give you one minute to speak. Yes, madam. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it because I've learned a lot in to this lesson or into this talk. I just say, may God bless you. We continue in the same spirit. Thank you. You're welcome, Dennis. And everybody else. Thank you for your time. You can feel free to leave the room, but remember to give us the feedback by filling in the feedback form and give us your contact so that we can get in touch with you and help you further. Okay, so this is officially the announcement that the event is over and feel free to exit at will. Thanks everyone for coming and goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Jacqueline raised her hand. <laughs> oh, 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 Jacqueline. Yes, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, are you still here? Jacqueline? Is she still in the room? I don't think she is. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of it. You can leave the room. <laughs>